Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 3 of my modding tutorial for Battlefront 2. What we are going to be doing today is that we are going to be going into uh, the sides once again and adding another new unit, only we're going to be overriding all the work that we did last time. Last time was just more of a quick and uh, brief explanation of all the folders and what they do and how to actually go through the process. We're going to be repeating that process today, only we're going to be making a folder from scratch and putting in only the bare essentials instead of just copying over the entire assets folder. Um, so as you can see in the sides folder, what I've already done is I just went ahead and scrapped our rep folder. It's no longer in there. And then also what I did is I went into the underscore LVLPC here in our data folder, went to side and I deleted the rep and rep shell. We're not going to need either of those and just to ensure that everything munges properly. And then we're going to go into sides here and we're going to make a new folder from scratch with nothing in it. So from my understanding is that uh, sides folders, they have to be one of the stock sides in their names. So I'm just going to call mine rep just so we can keep track of it and the game does too. I could be wrong about that. I just think that's the case. Um, then we're going to make all the folders that we need. The folders that we're going to need eventually, all in all down the line, is effects, and then mesh, and then munged, and then ODF, and then rec. And those are the five folders we're going to need. Again, effects is for effects, mesh is for our models and textures. Munge is for the animation sets, ODFs are for the ODF files, the individuals and specifics of our unit. Rec is what calls for them in there, and then we're going to have another file down here that we can just copy from our turret folder here. Go back and place it, rename it to rep. And we have this whole long list of everything in here. We're just going to go through and delete it to this top quotation mark. And we're going to come back to that later. Um, we can get rid of both of these. And what we're going to do now is we're going to find a model that we want to use. This can be a publicly released model, a model you may already have, or a stock asset one. I'm going to use one that I already have here. Um, and we're going to go into our mesh folder here and just drop it in. And this is just a Contardin clone that I have had textured for since 2020, as you can see. Um, basically, what all these factors are, and we're going to need this for all the weapons we get um, for our unit. Uh, what they all are is this Targa, this TGA file at the very top. That's our Targa file. That is the texture for the model. Then this mesh file here is the model itself. And then down here, there's rep or reb inf Katarn clone dot mesh. Um, that is the option file that sets no collision on the model. And yeah, it's, it's as exciting as it sounds. Um, so now all we need are really our animations, our ODFs, and our requisites. Um, so to do that, we're going to go back to the mod tools, assets, sides, and we're just going to copy a few. And we're going to go to ODF and we're just going to find a, a foundation, the unit that we want our unit to be based off of, essentially. So we're just going to copy the rep inf episode 2 rifleman here. Very basic, very standard. Go back to 0AB. That took me to my common folder. So we're going to go back to sides, rep, and paste him in there. Then we're going to rename him something different, rep inf. And then tutorial man was our last one. We'll make this one Katarn clone. So we have him in there. And as you can see, it's just a bunch of junk. So now we just need to copy out and get more stuff in there. The place we're going to find this stuff is back in the assets here, the rep ODFs. And we're going to open up the default officer here. And just copy everything that's in here and paste it. Um, we're going to go through this real quick. This animation name is Clone Commander. 
basically the clone commander has a specific animation for how he holds rifles i.e in this uh, scenario the chain gun because as you know the clone commander big z6 on his shoulder um so that animation name line calls for that so we're actually going to want that in there max speed max strafe speed we're just gonna put those up a bit because it's kind of slow because the commander is a bit slower if i recall correctly um scanning range and transmit range we won't actually need we'll just get rid of those right away and then there's uh points to unlock the line's really that simple you just put points to unlock and then the value you want it to be since this is going to be our starting unit we're just going to get rid of that completely and now what we have here are just labels unit types yada yada the geometry name we've explained last time is the uh, model in our mesh folder that we're going to be calling for so we're going to be changing this in just a second first person here is the actual uh, hands that you see when you're in first person mode if it's not there I just believe that you can't go into first person so we're going to delete that because we're not grabbing those first person hands um, and then as you see it's just everything else here what we're going to do is just delete this stuff or I'll delete the remote droid defense can stay and then one thing I want to point out real quickly is how there's weapon section one weapon section two weapon section three weapon section this was five but four and five uh, the actual weapon sections here don't denote like what positions they are I mean obviously one will be before two but what denotes them as main weapon versus offhand or secondary like defense would be the secondary one obviously is the buff um is this weapon channel line right here so yeah that's all we really need there just go ahead and save that and then back out now what we need are the weapons that we are calling for so we just got to find those uh weapons here we're going to need the above defense one and actually we'll copy these top six go back to our 08b sides rep odf and drop them all in there then commando pistol here we're just going to copy that and we're going to replace the regular pistol with commando one i know insane but that will help show an understanding of what we're doing um so now that we have that there we have the inf defense and the award pistol we don't have and you know what we're just actually going to remove that line entirely um i think that's all we really need for the moment what we need now are the meshes and in there and the models and everything put together so we're just going to go to mesh we're going to copy the name of our unit open this back up and for geometry name and geometry low res we're just going to put our unit there save that and then we're going to back up go back and we're going to grab the animations like i said the clone commander unit has very specific animation sets for the model so we're just going to go into the rep folder munged and we're going to grab those clone commander animations right here and i think that's all we're actually going to need out of that go back to zero ab sides rep munged paste it in there and then next what we're going to need are all the models for the weapons we just got so these ones are actually very very easy to find mesh and we're just going to copy the chain gun ones here first and copy and then we're going to go back to our rep folder here is there a b rep yep and we're going to paste those in there go back to the assets here and the other ones are kind of weird to find first as you can see i already tried looking for them uh, first pistol is the texture that we're after. We'll go ahead and just copy the model as well since we're here. First pistol and the bumps. We'll just copy all of those. Go to our rep. Go in here. Paste them. And what we're actually going to need now is just the rep, rep pistol. The regular one. Copy. Go back. 
and paste and a way to double check make sure you have all the right textures because as you can see the web web inf pistol didn't have a texture with it we had to get that first one so if we just open this up and move this out of my way open this up and throw that in here you can see it has a texture associated with it and then throw the chain gun in there you can see it has one associated with it as well and just for good measure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up all these individually and I'm going to replace the high res geometry with the ones we just got. So commando pistol, we're going to go in and we're going to replace the high res geometry with the geometry name itself and save that. Make sure we have all the ordinances with it and then buff defense. Eh, there's no actual thing with it because it's just a common thing. So we're not looking for an actual geometry tag. And because the geometry tags for those are a bit different, um, something I will probably never get into. Um, so now all we need really is to put our new unit in the rec file here and then also in the folder. Rep inf, as I type all this wrong, rep inf katarn clone, close quote. <laughs> and I just make sure everything's spelled correctly. Close that. Now we need a rec file, turret, rec, copy the first one I see, paste, rename, rep, inf, copy that, open it, paste over it, and save. Now all we need to do is go into our common scripts. 0AB and our core1z underscore con. If we scroll down to where we worked last time, you'll see our DC side rep sensor folder is called rep still. We don't need to change that. What we need to change is the unit that we are calling for. Call for our Katarn clone instead and replace him on the team as well. Um, because if it's calling for a unit that's not there and tries to put it on the team, I believe that unit just doesn't show up in game or it'll crash. Both are not ideal. So we're just going to do that click save we're going to go back go up to build mod tools and then we're going to munge our new rep folder and common because we messed with the lewis script so if we click munge it might take a second but it should go through everything pretty quickly all things considered once it's done munging it will come up with this no collision again like i said last time um, no collision warnings like this are good otherwise it takes like five billion years to munge and now we're going to open up our mod loader here and go to 0AB. And hopefully, hopefully, everything's going to work out just fine. But basically, we're in here. And as you can see, there's our custom model, our unit. It has all the things we asked for. As you can see, the unlocalized name. It has the weapons we wanted, specifically the commando pistol, which is the one that we changed in the actual ODF from the stock one. It doesn't have the uh, controllable, controllable turret. And we go in here. Fires like fine, he moves faster, everything works. Everything works perfectly. And he has the correct animation set. And that's how you're able to get a blank folder in its entirety, a from scratch folder, put in all these specific things that you're going to need and go in there. And soon we're going to be going over weapons and the intricacies of that and how to set up your own really. But that's all you really need to get started and that's everything you have to do it's a very easy process last time i just went through copying files over and explaining things along the way uh, this time what i did is made one from scratch to show you that it really is that easy and when it's from scratch there's a lot less clutter and everything's just way simpler for you so there's that one kind of explaining episode two was more explaining the process and how to do it and this one was showing the process in practice so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for episode four in the near future. Uh, thank you guys so much again, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.